Who remembers Anyala Fix My Life? Did you watch it? Now, Anyala did an interview confirming that this was going to be the last season of Fix My Life and she said, I don't want that energy in my life anymore. She's been doing it for a very, very long time. Guys, if you have been watching it, you know what it's all about. It's basically her sitting down with families. She is an inspirational speaker. She's a life coach. She refers herself as a spiritual healer. In the interview, she talked about the scrutiny she receives as a television personality and simply just saying that she doesn't want that energy. She doesn't want people looking at the way her hair is, her makeup is, her, nail, her, nails, uh, her nails are. And I think we can all see how social media works and how not only people are opinionated, but how brutal people can also be with their opinions and with their words. Now, she goes into details about why she decided to pull the plug on the show. She says, I am a teacher. That's what I am. I'm an educator. I just want, I just happen to be a spiritual technician. I'm not going to lie. I've never heard of a spiritual technician until she mentioned it. But that's what she refers herself as she says i teach about spiritual technology and that's what i've always done that's what i want to do but i want to do it in a more intimate way and she was even like listen if you want me to fix your life you need to put a price on it you need to pay for it which i absolutely loved i want to do it where people come to me because they want to learn not because they don't want not because they don't have a date on Saturday. And I wanted to do where people aren't scrutinising my hair and my nails. Now, she has been doing Fix My Life for eight years. And she says it has taught her how mean and nasty and unkind people can be. It was a bit sad that during the interview, that was the most... That was the highlight almost of her really just sharing her experience with social media and just really how unkind people are and the you can see that it's obviously had some kind of impact or it has left an imprint in her because that's probably how you know what because of how much of it she received she says i don't want people calling me names and talking about me i'm just very sensitive to energy i don't deserve it and i don't want it so now if you want a piece of me you've got to come and you've got to pay for it <laughs> i love that though it is the last season it she says it's her legacy season she's out um she's saying that she's this is not completely the end of her it's just the show itself that she is going to be ending now the show itself were very intense if you watch them um but i i enjoyed them you know i i like the fact that people face their traumas and face their pains rather than just brushing them under the carpet and it's nice that somebody is able to be in that position where they can pull out those issues and they can dig deep you know and they can go in places um in a safe environment though it is debatable whether people felt like um they were just kind of exposed but um you know for the show to have gone on for so many years i suppose people felt like they could go to her um i think for a lot of people it's necessary um what i like about it as well is that within the black community counseling and anything like this is a bit foreign um, and it's a bit taboo actually especially within the African culture I, I would say the black culture in general it's a taboo thing you know P families don't go to counseling families don't talk about issues um, kids don't have opportunities to talk back to express how they feel and I think having shows like this um, it just it's a breath of fresh air and it really highlights the importance of having these things um you know i am pro counseling i think as black people because from a young age we learn to just suck it up and not speak it really actually does um reflects in our adult life in our relationships and how we communicate with our friends and our partners and to an extent we are quite closed and stiff um and we don't know how to be vulnerable and how to show emotions so for that i definitely give her props and credit for and i love the fact that yes it is it was predominantly black because it it needs to show that reflection that we we have a lot of healing we need to do and 
black people just don't talk about emotions they don't we don't do emotions and it's important our emotions are one of the biggest parts of our of our beings are you know and if we don't look after our soul and if we don't look after our emotions and if we don't pay attention to it then we are just going to be self-destructive for the rest of our lives but guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section are you going to be sad to see the show gone i definitely am um thank you so much for taking time to tune in do like comment and subscribe